Hello there and welcome to sound design tutorial number six, in which we talk about how to draw your own custom waveforms in FL Studio. This is sort of an interesting idea for how you might start a sound, but it's a bit too long to be a quick tip. Anyway, step one is to load Citrus. Now, there's probably other ways of doing what I'm about to do with Citrus. So, first thing you want to do is set it to a square wave and uh, click the half button. So, what this is doing is it only uses the first half of the waveform, but when it's a square, it ends up at the top like this all the time. So, if I play this now, you can see that it's just a solid line at the top. That's what we want. So, however, you feel like achieving that, somehow just get it so there's a solid line at the top you can play. Once you've done this, draw a note with it, the pitch doesn't matter, and slap it into the playlist, and right click the volume knob here. Now the reason why this one is because this goes from 100% to zero, so I turn it up, it goes back to the center where silence is, whereas this volume knob goes negative, meaning that we can use this volume knob to basically set the position, like the height of the sound. So if I do this really fast, you can sort of hear it's making noise. So what you can do is, you can automate it to draw a waveform. So let me demonstrate. If I were to set this to wave, for example, and do this, we would actually hear a wave. I mean, the resolution is not great, but you get the idea. So we can draw basically a single cycle waveform of whatever we want now because we're directly controlling the height of the output. So let's say I like this shape. How would I how would I how do I use this now? What use is this? You can record it in Edison, basically, so do that. Remember to record on play so that when it comes round again, you get this handy little marker that you can double click, hit delete. So now we've got our single cycle waveform as audio, and plugins like Citrus allow us to drag it into here. So now the thing we just drew is here exactly, and we can play it as a waveform. And you'll see up here, it's exactly the thing we drew. Another thing you could do with this is if I duplicate this and draw some completely different shape to try and mangle this one as much as possible. If I record this second alternate shape, then one thing I can do with it is import it into something like Serum by going into the edit wavetables and then just simply dragging in both the waves I just recorded delete the original one morph them together and we've made a wavetable <laughs> So yeah, there's one useful application you can have for this, but otherwise, this is a useful tip that might spark your imagination. See you in the next video.